students this is dr dimanjani and today i'm going to discuss the three major topics with you but first of all i welcome you to my channel business economics in today's topic i'm going to discuss the level of unemployment second topic would be the natural rate of unemployment and third topic the most important that is the phillips curve analysis now let us understand these topics one by one the so first point is the levels of unemployment next point that is the frictional unemployment now it is for a shorter period of time uh, unemployment for example job change or shifting from one place to another or you can say due to certain uh, uh, conditions certain external environmental conditions uh, the people are unable to find out their job let's say for example outbreak of covid 2019 due to this uh, uh, outbreak of virus may thousands of people maybe uh, millions of people are unable to find their job across the world so they are temporary unable to find their job so they are unemployed but this is a frictional unemployment so when the vaccination of this virus or you can say when this virus is in controlled situation then again these people will find their job so that is known as frictional unemployment it is for shorter period of time only next one is the structural unemployment it is a mismatch with the skills possessed by the candidates and the requirements of the employees so this is the most important thing and the prime reason for not getting the job by the candidates or the students you can say mismatch between the skills possessed by the candidate and the requirement of the employers if employers are having requirement of a different sets of skills and abilities which is not possessed by the candidate himself he might not be able to absorb in the economy as well employment opportunities next point that is the uh, cyclical unemployment this occurs due to cyclical fluctuations in the economy it may survive for longer period of time now actually it depends on the uh, length of the business cycle itself let us understand by one example over here so this is the business typical business cycle this is the growth phase this is the recession slump or you can say a recession phase this is the recovery phase and this is again the growth stage this line you are observing is known as the line of equilibrium so over here economic activity this is the line which you are observing is the growth of the economic activity in the country itself okay so the uh, cyclical unemployment occurs due to recession or you can say the depression phase which are uh, which are a part of business cycle so cyclical unemployment occurs due to the recession or the depression phases of the business economy so what actually happens in recession or the depression phases in growth phase uh, inflation is high, uh, getting higher business opportunities are getting higher people are having more employment they are ha having more salary but in recession phase it is completely different it is vice versa you can say recession phase employment opportunities are reducing profits are reducing production demands supply everything is going to be down once it crosses this line of equilibrium then it is in the uh, period of the depression now we don't know it it depends on the uh, different uh, uh, factors that in how uh, for how much time uh, economy will move on in this depression or you can say the recession situations so presently we are in this depression situation due, due to covid 19 outbreak now uh, so due to this uh, situation the, uh, the amount of the people who have lost their job that is known as the cyclical unemployment so after completion of this issue so again economy will move towards the recovery and again it will move towards the growth rate so that is you can say the cyclical fluctuations or you can say the business cycle itself next point that is the seasonal unemployment now this occurs for specific timing only afterwards an individual can resume their jobs let's say for example uh, mango farmers so if you observe that from december to june or july up to july you can say farmers uh who's who are doing their business for farming uh, of the mango different types of mangoes they you will find these people uh getting engaged themselves into this uh, farming activities okay but afterwards you can say june july afterward rainy season afterwards it would be very difficult for them to get the job uh because uh, afterwards there is no requirement of the in the mango farm for cultivation of the mangoes or processing of the mangoes so that for so, so for those 3 to 4 months they would be unemployed in the 
uh, economy so that can be termed as a seasonal unemployment next point that is the natural rate of unemployment which is topic number two now let us understand what exactly the natural rate of unemployment is so natural rate of unemployment reflects the number of people that are unemployed due to structure of labor force such as those replaced by the technology or those who lack certain skills to gain the unemployment gain the employment okay so in short what you can say it's a combination of frictional and structural unemployment which we discussed just before this slide so in frictional uh, unemployment you can say time being unemployment and in structural unemployment we mean to say that due to lack of a certain amount of skills the persons who are unable to find their job for a longer period of time that is structural unemployment next topic is the phillips curve analysis this is the topic number three and the last topic okay phillips analyzed annual inflation and unemployment rates in uk for the period of 1860 to 1957 and plotted them in a scattered diagram so it suggests that there is inverse relationship between the inflation and unemployment higher the inflation lower the unemployment and the vice versa so in simple sense you can say there is a inverse that is you can say negative correlation shape between the inflation rate and the unemployment rate so if the inflation rate is high the unemployment would be low low uh, if the inflation rate is high unemployment would be low and if the inflation rate is low then unemployment would be high the simple reason is that if the inflation rate is high the people are earning the business persons are earning more profit they are doing more investment into the businesses and they are expanding their capacities uh, for the production and they are hiring more and more people so that's why if the inflation rate is high then employment opportunities would be high production distribution consumption would be high and due to high rate of inflation business organizations would be able to accommodate more and more people so that's why higher rate of inflation will lead to reduction in the unemployment rate and the vice versa